That'll be Mummy's solicitor. Bruce dearest, let him in. I think he's called Dougal. It's Duggan. Tim Duggan. I really don't know why he wants you here. I am here as one of the executors of the estate of Mrs. Matilda Beryl Gillespie of Cedar House, Fontwell, Dorset. Uh, in a moment I will give you copies of her last will and testament, which supersedes all other wills made by Mrs. Gillespie. Uh, about a month ago, she asked me here to make an inventory of her possessions, purely to avoid any acrimonious arguments between the relative parties after the will has been read. I have never seen the point of this vulgar and debased medium before. However, the prospect of talking to you, Joanna, no doubt quietly seething, and Ruth, with your ridiculous tantrums, seems too good to pass up. Sarah, I apologize in advance for dragging you into this cursed family. But in the short time I have known you, I have realized that you are a very special person with the authority and integrity to take up the burden I am to place on your shoulders. I was raped for the first time by my uncle Lionel when I was 13. My father, Sir William, the supremely respectable MP connived in this because he needed his brother Lionel's money. We had no money of our own. When I became pregnant by my own uncle, my father, to avoid a scandal, married me off to James Gillespie, of whom the best thing that can be said is that he never raped a woman. Joanna is Lionel's daughter. Joanna, I schemed, I plotted, I struggled to give you a decent upbringing when my so-called husband, James Gillespie, had to flee from England to Hong Kong after an incident in a public lavatory in Hendon. When your father, Uncle Lionel, became old and maudlin, he made a will and tried to leave his money to his natural daughter, Joanna. It was this will, Joanna, you found one day and came out screaming that the money was all yours and you would throw me out onto the streets. We shall see who is thrown onto the streets. Lionel's will is worthless. He would have had to go to court and swear to having sex with his brother's underage child. When his brother, my father, explained this to him, he killed himself with an overdose of barbiturates, the only decent thing he ever did. I came back here to take care of my father, whose own health was failing. Women, take courage from this. Ruth, my dear, men get old first, then they are in our power. And when they drink like my father, they get old fast. Soon we are wheeling the tyrants around in their chairs. I made the old fool wear the scold's bridle if he whined at me. Ruth, I had intended to leave the money to Joanna and Cedar House to you. However, since you turned 17, your behavior has, even by modern standards, appalled me. Despite the exorbitant fees, I am paying to Southcliffe. You are growing into a ghastly little monster to rival your mother. I have come to realize that neither you nor Joanna are capable of a decent or generous thought. So, I intend to leave my money to Dr. Sarah Blakeney of Mill House, Long Upton, Dorset. So far as I have ever felt any fondness for anyone, I have felt it for you, Sarah. Don't be angry with me. I must have died without changing my mind or you wouldn't be watching this. So remember me for our friendship, not for this burden I have laid on you. 
Joanna and Ruth will hate you as they have hated me. And they will accuse you of all manner of beastliness, just as they have accused me. But what's done cannot be undone. So take it all with my blessing. And use it to promote something worthwhile in my memory. This means nothing. A video will has no standing. Uh, which is why your mother had me draw up and witness this. You'll find it follows her words to the letter, dotting every I and crossing every T. I'm not going to let you get away with this. Well, I refuse to accept the bequest anyway. Well, you certainly have that right. Uh, in which case, the money goes to the Seaton Retirement Home for Donkeys. If Dr. Blakeney didn't want it, Mrs. Gillespie said it should benefit deserving asses. If I fight it? Well, I'm not your solicitor, but my considered professional opinion is you will lose. My advice, and bearing in mind Dr. Blakeney's initial refusal to accept the legacy, is that you should all sit down together and work something out between you. When can I meet you? Shall we say Thursday at my office? The sooner the better. I'll get someone to cover for me. Now, I must go. Poor Dr. Blakeney. I think you're beginning to realise how ruthless my mother was. The dictator is dead. Long live the dictator. I have never seen the point of this vulgar and debased oh. medium before. Father says I am old enough, and that if Mother was alive, she would not mind. She knew about men's needs. I am not to tell anyone, or he will use the bridle over and over again. Mother should never have done such things. Then Father would not do them to me. I am only ten years old. 